Hi there, my name is Marie from Angry Pixie Design, and today we bring you Narrative Telephone, inspired by the Critical Role series online, where they take a story and they transfer it from person to person, and over the course of the storytelling arc, it dissolves and disintegrates into a jumbled mess of the uh, former story. So, hopefully, this is a wonderful disaster for you and you enjoy it. We are huge fans of Critical Role here and um, we just thought this idea was too fun to pass up. So, hope you enjoy. Hey, my name's Caduceus Clay and uh, I'm not much of a reader, but my parents did tell me a really good story from when I was younger and I want to share it with you today. So, Basil Winfire was a halfling bard. Now, he wanted to become famous, so he decided to leave his small town and go traveling with different adventuring groups. Now, he got some pretty good stories, but nothing worthy of putting pen to paper. Nothing great. Until one day, a phoenix appeared before him. And this phoenix said to him, it said, you have to go to the town of New Forge. Now, New Forge is a dry, desert town, barren of natural life, but famous for its forges and master blacksmiths that make these magical weapons. But the problem is, there was a cult that started harassing the town and kidnapping townspeople. And this cult was called the Red Claw. So Basil and his adventuring party go to the town and they find out that they, they're kidnapping townspeople to try to get the master blacksmith, Amic, to make magical weapons for them. So they follow the cult back to their hideout and they discover that the leader of the Red Claw, this giant dragon, Tekis, is in the middle of making a deal with this beholder named Torjurst. Uh, they're trying to take over the town and get all the ability to make all these magic weapons for their dragon supremacist cause. So, the group sneaks in and they use illusory magics to cause Tekis and the Beholder to get into a fight. And in the midst of this chaos, they go and they rescue the, uh, the townspeople. So, they're about to escape back to their land sailor to, to go back into the desert and back to town when they are spotted by the cult. So Tekis, enraged, rains fire down upon these uh, heroes and they are singed but alive and still kicking. So they're running back to their land sailor in a last ditch attempt to uh, stop the adventuring party in their tracks. Um, the, uh, the cult shoots this uh, spear, this chained spear uh, out to try to hook their land sailor to the ground. Um, but no, the monk of the party jumps up, kicks it out of the air, and throws it right back at him. Now, not to be outdone by these theatrics, Basil looks to the dragon and is about to cast Polymorph, but he has to decide what he's going to make him. He thinks, shall I make the dragon a butterfly? Shall I make the dragon a sloth? But... The dragon shakes off the magics, these unfocused magics. Basil just couldn't decide in time what he was going to make the dragon. But Basil just shrugs. He says, meh, no worries. I'll just fix it in the edit. And that's the story of Basil and the escape from New Forge. I hope you like my story, and I will see you around. Thanks for listening. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, uh, I'm I'm Caduceus Clay. I'm Caduceus Clay. Uh, and I'm not much of a reader. I'm not much of a reader. But I have heard a tale or two in my time. So, uh, my parents told me the story of Basil Windfire. Basil Windfire. 
who uh, was adventuresome and he liked to travel, but he never had a story worthy of putting pen to paper until he traveled to the town of New Forge. New Forge is a place where all the inhabitants were able to forge brilliant weapons and instruments and all kinds of nifty magical things. Uh, but there was a problem in New Forge, which was that the townspeople were being kidnapped by cultists of the Red Claw. And people were going missing, and it was very scary. And so Basil and uh, a, a party of people from New Forge decided to set out and pursue the cultists. So uh, when they came upon them, they found that the cultists of the Red Claw were working with a dragon whose name escapes me. Tekis, the dragon's name was Tekis, and um, also a beholder whose name definitely escapes me, but the dragon and the beholder and all of the cultists were working together for their dragon supremacist cause. And so, Basil and his party, uh, they, they pursued, pursued them and, and engaged in combat with them. Uh, they rolled initiative, and... Uh, as they were engaged in combat, uh, Basil decided that he would turn the dragon Tekis, uh, that he would uh, cast Polymorph on the dragon, and he thought to himself, should I turn him into a butterfly? Should I turn him into a sloth? But the dragon shook off the magic because Basil had taken too long to decide, uh, to decide. So... That didn't work, so uh, the monk of the party um, used a, 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 a magical thing from New Forge called a chain spear, and oh no, that wasn't that wasn't the monk. Sorry, um, a cha the chain spear was fired by uh, one of the cultists, I think, and it didn't work. Uh, the, the 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 party was able to. Oh, the monk, that's what happened. <laughs> the monk of the party uh, turned the chain spear back against them. I, I, I can't remember how, but I think he kicked it back at them and did something. I don't remember. Um, so uh, the, the party was... Uh, they, they were successful. Uh, or they... Uh, I, actually, I don't... Well, I, 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 I think the ending was happy. I think that they... <laughs> <laughs> they were able to rescue at least some of the townspeople and bring them back to New Forge. Um, I've been drinking, don't mind me. Um, so, uh, eventually, uh, the way that this ends is uh, that... <laughs> we don't know how it ends, or Basil doesn't know how it ends. He simply shrugged and said, eh... I'll just fix it in the edit. So, thanks for listening to the story. I hope to see you again soon. I'm gonna get a drink. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, hi, I'm I'm K K Caduceus Clay, and uh, I am telling a story uh, that my parents told me about a man named Basil White Claw. Uh, Basil uh, wanted to be an adventurer, and uh, but never had any good stories to put from pen to paper. So Basil decided to go on an adventure and he found a town called North Forge and they made all sorts of really cool magical things in North Forge and he found out that the city was being controlled by a bunch of 
cultist called the 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 Red Claw. And the the cultists were serving a dragon and a beholder. Uh, the dragon's name was uh <laughs> uh, uh, Nur Nurzon? The dragon's name was Nurzon. Uh, the beholder didn't have a name. And so Basil, uh, found a party to go try to defeat this dragon and this beholder. And they went to the dragon and Basil tried to turn it into a sloth or a mongoose. Uh, he couldn't decide, so the dragon attacked them and uh, they fought for a while heroically and at one point the cultist used something like a chain spear against them and the monk swiftly kicked it back and killed the dragon with the chain spear and i i don't know how they killed the beholder but they killed the beholder too and um there was some other things uh the the basil basil they won, and they saved all of the townspeople, and brought them back to safety, and Basil uh, couldn't think of a good ending for the story, so he said he would fix it in post. And he, he did. And that's, that's the end of the story. Caduceus Clay, and I'm going to tell you a story that my parents told me about a furbolg named Basil Whiteclaw. Now, Basil Whiteclaw, he was a writer, but he didn't have many stories to put down on paper, so he decided to make an adventure of his own. So he traveled to the city of North Forge where they were under siege by a group of cultists. And now these cultists were, they were worshiping both a dragon and a beholder. The dragon's name was, the dragon's name, names are unimportant because the beholder didn't have a name either but the group of cultists was named the red claw and so uh, basil knew that this that these people couldn't go without help and so he decided to get an adventuring party together to go fight the cultists the dragon and the beholder and now Initially, when they were sneaking up on the dragon, Basil didn't know whether or not he wanted to turn the dragon into a, a sloth or a mongoose, and so it gave the dragon, the cultists, and the beholder time to react, and so they went into a huge battle. And uh, the, the final blow, it was a massive battle, and... and People nearly died, but finally there was a chain spear that was thrown and then 
kicked back by the monk of the party straight into the heart of the dragon, which scared the cultists and the beholder so much that they fled. And so the city was saved. And Basil couldn't find an ending to this story for some reason, even though that was a pretty great ending, I don't, I don't know. But he decided to fix it in post, which is great because he was writing his own story so he could fix it any way he wanted. And that is the story that my parents told me. But this next story might go a little something like this. so poorly. My name is Caduceus Clay and I'm going to tell you a story about a man named Basil White Fang. Basil White Fang. He was a writer but he didn't really have any of his own stories so he decided to go on an adventure and in this adventure it took him to North Forge and at North Forge, it was actually under siege by a group of cultists and also a dragon and a beholder. And the beholder doesn't have a name and um, so neither does the dragon. So it's unimportant. Um, and oh, but the cultists were called oh, Red it's unimportant. Again, names. We don't need them. Um, so they were under siege. And so Basil, being there and seeing what's happening, knew that they needed to do something. So they got a adventuring party together and they went to North Forge to battle the, the group of cultists, the dragon, and the beholder. And so while battling, uh, Basil couldn't decide if he wanted to turn the Beholder into a weasel or a mongoose. And while he was thinking and kind of stuck, and he didn't know quite what to do, um, it gave the cultist, dragon, and the Beholder time to act. So they attacked them and they gave them a really rough time and um but then the monk of the party in basil's party um got him got him real good and they ended up defeating them which is great because then north uh north forge was saved and um for some reason basil didn't quite know how to end his story even though um, that seemed like a pretty good ending to the story, uh, them defeating the bad guys, but he decided to do it in post, which is great because Basil is a writer and can do that. <laughs> um, so he wrote the story and that is the story that my mom and dad told me. The next story go a little something like this. So this is going to be bad. Um, okay. Hello, my name is Caduceus Clay and uh, I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, so there was a man named Basil White Fang and he was a writer but he didn't have he didn't have any stories of his own um, and he uh, went on an adventure you know, he, he went on an adventure and uh, actually went up to the, to the North Forge and um, when he got there they were under siege by cultists 
and a dragon and a beholder who both both of them didn't have names only basil really has a name um and the cultists were the, the were the red something um and <laughs> Um, so Basil went and got a, a, uh, an adventuring party together, and they fought the cultist, and Basil was trying to decide if he was going to turn the dr drag dragon into a mongoose or a raccoon? I can't remember. Um... And before he did, the cultists and the dragon and the beholder all acted and they attacked and he was looking bad, but the, the monk in, in Basil's party, you know, did his thing and um, he saved, saved the day and they won and, and uh, Basil didn't have a good way to end the story, so he uh, printed it or post, he, he made, did it in post. At that, I think he printed it. That's the story my mom and dad told me. But you know, the next one could go something a little different. Maybe, maybe like this. Oh, oh man, there's really not a lot of story left, is there? Uh, hello, my name is Caduceus Clay. And I'm here to tell you a tale that my family once told me. This tale is about... Basil Whitethorn? That's really the only detail left, so I'm not sure why I forgot about it. Uh, he was a writer, uh, and he recorded, I guess, the, the tales of his exploits. Um, he had to go north to... a red keep where there were cultists, and also a dragon, and also a beholder. That seems excessive. Um, but he brought with him an adventuring party. Uh, in the adventuring party there was at least a monk. Uh, no one had names. The dragon and the beholder did not have names either. Uh, but they went north, and they went to fight this dragon and these cultists in this red keep. Uh, the monk did something fucking awesome and monkey and punched the shit out of, like, this dragon. I guess that's the end of that story. Uh, all I know is that Basil eventually, and his team eventually won the day, and recorded their exploits, I think, in a book? Maybe, maybe pages? Adam said something about pages. Uh, it's, it's likely that it was in a book because he was a writer, but there was also a mention of fixing it in post, which is decidedly not part of the story, I can imagine. Uh, but that's, that's all the tale I have for now, which sadly wasn't very much. Um, but there might be another tale that goes a little bit like this.